I'll serve you after you've paid Vex. I'll serve you after you've paid Vex. Well, well, if it isn't Brynjolf's little protege. I'm gonna make this short and sweet, because frankly, I don't think you deserve another shot. You've broken the rules, and now you need to pay. And it's gonna cost you quite a bit. This is the Thieves' Guild, genius. How do you think? With gold. A lot of gold. Did you think we'd accept a heartfelt apology and let bygones be bygones? I'd say it's time you put your nose to the grindstone and figure it out for yourself. You claim to be a thief. Act like one. Pick pockets, knock over houses. Heck, I don't care if you have to bust into a palace. You do what you have to do to come up with the coin. You'd better. Because until you do, you don't get a single coin from us. And you won't be able to use our fences. Anything you steal, you bring it straight to me. Now get out of here, and don't come back until your pockets are full. First, let's count the coin. Then we can get back to business. It's all here. Well, congratulations. You're one of us again. Next time you decide to pull a stunt like that, just remember how much it hurt to give this away. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name, but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Be careful. You're not the only one looking for him. Good day. What was that? Huh? Is There's the there? place. <laughs> I'm gonna eat well tonight, my darling.
He'll tell you, just ask. You don't even need to ask. Go away! What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbert. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive, then. You'd better come in, then, and tell me how you found me, and what you want. Th this'll just take a moment. This one always... There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now we can talk. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate, as the plaything of Aldwin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then... Then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must... We must... We must go. Quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Just a moment. I must gather a few things. I need the... No. No. Jesus Christ. Where'd I put my annotate? Damn you, Adam. One moment. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. What? Someone will suffer for this injustice.
You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Yeah, you need something? Sure, we can talk. Somebody help! Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Delphine. Why, <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Hall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries. But I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Carthspire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. Always. Let's go see if we can find this Sky Haven Temple.
Orgnar, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You be safe.
This looks promising. Yes, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king and warrior. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved, too. Ah, here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Krakenborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Riemann Cyrodiil? This whole place appears to be a shrine. End of the invasion.
Shaw's boat. Here it is. Baldwin's wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early Second Era Kaviri sculpture in relief. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. What is it? Ah, of course. Not everyone has an appreciation for the artistic wonders of the world. Let me see if I can find the right panel. back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah. <sighs> Patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Good. The Greybeards can teach you a lot, but don't let them turn you away from your destiny. You're Dragonborn, and you're the only one who can stop Alduin. Don't forget it. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. 
Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought their Kaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. 